It took me eight years to compile all of the essays in this anthology into a book, and then to find this book a grant and a publisher. But the night before I submitted the final manuscript to the editors, I, drag, I, I dragged the document into the trash can of my computer, shut my laptop, and cried. I cried for hours that day, heavy tears that held in their sheen the reflection of all the women who have had the courage to share their stories on these pages. Good girls marry doctors, it's true, especially in the Desi community. <laughs> what then do bad girls do? <laughs> Surely, I reasoned in that moment, bad girls write publicly about their parents and guardians. <laughs> Bad girls take all the sacrifices their immigrant parents made for them, all the tenderness and support their parents gave up in their homelands, all the toil it took to earn livings and build homes in North America and <coughs> twist them into perverted abuses. Bad girls forget how deeply they have been loved. At least that's what it often feels like to be writing essays like the ones in this volume. We write, and then we think, oh God, what if my parents read this? <laughs> what we mean by that is that we're worried that our parents will see these essays in which we, their daughters, have drawn up a list of grievances about our childhoods, our adolescenthoods, and our adulthoods, and they will assume that we have forgotten their side of the story. They will think that all the lessons they taught us about honor and respect meant nothing to us, and that all their sacrifices and hard work to raise us in a foreign land have resulted in this, a burning at the stake of their methods and philosophies. I don't blame them for feeling this way. I can only imagine how attacked they must feel. Envisioning their sorrow upon reading a book like this is enough to keep most of us from wanting to publish it at all. Yet, our ambivalence about their reactions to the work in this book is precisely the reason why the work needs to be done. Because in the basket they packed for us, full of the ingredients necessary to have a successful life, they sometimes forgot to include the ingredients necessary to live a fulfilled life. Success is a funny thing for us good girls. Most of us have been schooled by our parents and community since we were children to not only strive for, but also to desire a certain kind of life. 